Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you may be. Captain America, Brave New World, formerly Captain America, New World Order. Um, so, you know, this is our first film where we get to see Sam Wilson as the new Cap from Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, I've said this a number of times as, you know, I guess <laughs> almost like a disclaimer I have to say for any Marvel uh, video now as many people have various opinions since Endgame. Um, you know, I've, like I said, I've found enjoyment in pretty much everything. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, of course, there's some things better than others, uh, but I've found enjoyment in pretty much everything. Uh, like I said, except the, the ending of Secret Invasion. Oh, my God. I mean, it, I mean, it was okay overall, but I think it could have been better, and especially that ending was... Anyways, other than that, um, I've, you know, found, again, found enjoyment in things, and I'm, you know, slowly doing a rewatch of the, of post-Endgame, uh, uh, or so you say Phase 4, um, before Deadpool. Um, now, this is a film that, um, obviously, that has had a lot of trouble, for those who, who may not know. From what I, I've heard, I've seen different numbers, but I guess they've, sh like, reshot, like, Three fourths of the movie, um, you know, they're you know we have Harrison Ford in this uh, as President Ross, uh, taking the place of um, William Hurt, may he rest in peace now, from the previous films, um, you know, and I love Harrison Ford, so it'll be interesting to see his take on it, and you know, of course, there were there are rumors we're going to see Red Hulk from this, which uh, Thunderbolt Ross becomes in the comics, or one of the Red Hulks. Um, you know, but originally, if I remember right, as this was first described, you know, again, Sam Wilson, Captain America, we're going to see Isaiah Bradley return, um, and, you know, the, uh, why, why am I forgetting Tim's last name, um, who played Mr. Blue, or was it Green? I keep forgetting in that such a in the Tim Blake Nelson. Um, you know, is gonna be reprising his role uh as the leader, um, the character who from the Incredible Hulk movie who becomes the leader. Um and, you know, is gonna be one of the main antagonists. Um I think originally there was supposed to be Serpent Society somewhere in there, but that was next. So, you know, this movie's gone under a lot of reworking. Um so I'm kinda curious to see what exactly we're gonna uh, get from this. I heard from, you know, stuff shown at CinemaCon, one thing Thunderbolt Ross says is, like, he wants to, Sam to help him put the Avengers back together again, so that might be part of a through line as well. So, let's go ahead, that all being said, and see what Captain America Brave New World uh, holds for us. It's, a, it's, a, it's only a teaser, it's only a minute, and some change, so, I don't know, we're not going to get a ton of stuff, but let's see. the White House. Wilson. Thanks for coming in. I thank you for the invite, sir. Mm -hmm. I have to admit, I'm still getting used to the new look. They said to lose the mustache or lose <laughs> the election. You and I, I haven't always agreed in the past, but I want to make another run at making Captain America an official military position. And if we disagree on how to manage this situation, then what happens? John Carlo Esposito. Work with me, Sam. We'll show the world a better way forward. Isaiah, okay. Isaiah! Okay. Sir, your inner circle's been compromised. Either you can't see that, or you don't want to. Tor is returning. I believe he's gonna be a new Falcon. Power is shifting. You're just a pawn. You may be Captain America, but you're not Steve Rogers. Okay, see, little Falcons, all right. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. All righty. Um, yeah. Okay. I I like that teaser. Okay. So a couple things, um, and then I will be going back through a couple clips. Might watch it again quickly, but uh, all right. so first of all, uh, we see at the end there we are getting Red Hulk. Um, One of the things I heard that, you know, and I can't remember if it was Kevin Feige or Brad Winterbaum, but um, I think it was might have been Feige. Um, you know, but someone from Marvel had stated that this was going to be kind of a more return to, like, the Winter Soldier type feel. So more of, I guess, like an espionage thriller. And it does kind of give that feel, you know. And again, and then we have I Isaiah, who I guess has been kind of made into a Manchurian candidate type of thing. Um, you know, like brainwashing soldier, you know, can be triggered at, at some uh, a sleeper agent, basically. I mean, a sleeper agent, super, super soldier. <laughs> so um, that will be very, very interesting. Um, like I said, again, we see shots of, uh, again, Red Hulk. Uh, as, as I said, um, I forget what the Taurus, what the first name is, but, you know, as Sam left him the broken wings, you know, of course it was rumored, you know, in the comics he becomes a Falcon. Um, and we see a shot, it looks like, you know, we got dual uh, Falcons going on. But, um, well, Captain America and Falcon. So, yeah, it looks, I like what, I'm liking what I'm seeing in this. So let's go back through this. Okay, and again, February, I believe Valentine's Day. So let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, so Okay, like I said there we have Isaiah I guess being activated. Isaiah! And yeah, <laughs> you don't want a super soldier as a <laughs> sleeper agent. Oh, okay, so what's this? Don't want to. Okay, and so this that shot right there where we have uh, Sam and Torres, you, you know, of course, giving me feelings again of Steve and Bucky from the Winter Soldier. And I think that's, you know, part of the point of it. Want to. So Just like, okay, trap. chair for brainwashing, obviously. Global power is like shifting. This. You're just a pawn. And again, there we have John Carlo Esposito. So... And what, who he's playing, I don't know. Um, you know, there are some people speculating, like maybe kind of a version of. Well, I, I don't, I don't think this at all. They're saying like Striker from X Men, but no, I don't think that that's it at all. Um, I mean, obviously he's, you know, you have feeling like military uh, or a trained operative, and you know, again, I can't think offhand who that might be but again you know it may be a big surprise um but again you put john carlo esposito in pretty much anything and you know as uh, many uh, uh pundits i've watched with uh, use the term it elevates it because again i love john carlo esposito even his brief return to the boys this season you may be captain america but you're not Steve Rogers. Of course. Right. I'm not. Okay, so you lo love that shot. Is that a... Is that a Quinjet? Yep, hold on. Got a phone call. Sorry about that. Uh, you know, always seems like a phone call comes when you're in the middle of doing something. Uh, but, yeah, well, I like that shot. Now, like I said, so is that in the sky, is that a Quinjet? So, and if so, the question would be who's leaving him and then he's about to take flight. Um, there, okay. There we go. Dual Falcons.
Okay, so like I said, I'm pretty sure that's Sam and Torres. And... Red Hulk and Red Hulk. So, <laughs> there you go. You know, so if there were any questions... <laughs> it, yeah, I guess it's like Marvel was like, so, are there any questions, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, this is happening, this is happening, this is happening, this is happening. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm eager to see it. Like I said, again, I love... I mean, Marvel in general. I mean, again, um, Marvel, DC, I mean, you know, comic properties, the, now it's by the boys, which I had never, I had heard of, but I had never seen or looked into. And then, you know, like I said, I, I love the show. Um, I mean, I love superheroes in general. Like, I love sci-fi and fantasy in general. Um, so, but again, always special place in my heart for Marvel. Um, so, yeah, I'm always going to, willing to give it a, a them a chance in general and again as opposed to many other i i try to find good in all things and i mean if it is a total dumpster fire i'm gonna say it's a total dumpster fire <laughs> so but yeah they, but it looks good um and yeah i can't wait to see uh trailer trailer give us a little bit more info until february comes so that is my reaction, my thoughts. As always, feel free to share, subscribe. Hopefully, give me a like if you like my content. Hit that notification button if you have subscribed. Thank you. And feel free to leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of the teaser trailer for Captain America Brave New World. And as always, thanks for watching.